Hi, and welcome to Investment Banking University, where we help you become an investment banker. Today, we're going to be talking about how to be or how to become a CEO. And the CEO's role is to bring the company or opportunity through the different stages of a perpetuity by building a recurring benefit stream, i.e. cash flows, and at the same time de-risking those benefit streams or cash flows. In doing so, the valuation of the perpetuity moves from a backward-looking to a forward-looking valuation and thus is maximized. So ultimately, the CEO should be familiar with perpetuity science and the different phases of a perpetuity. As the perpetuity changes, the formula for the perpetuity changes as well. There are five phases of perpetuity building, and as we move through the phases, the role of the owner of the perpetuity uh, becomes more passive, and the valuation actually becomes larger due to an increase in the size of EBITDA, uh, which is a proxy for cash flow increasing, or, and the EBITDA multiple increasing, those that are valuing those cash flow streams value them more, giving you a higher multiple. And then the discount rate is actually decreased, reflecting a decrease in the level of risk associated with the benefit stream of the perpetuity. So the perpetuity ultimately becomes less dependent on the owner to exist and run as an organizational structure is formed, coinciding with the disc, uh, division of labor, processes being automated, and revenue becoming recurring. And at the bottom of this infographic here, we can just simply see that the phases of the perpetuity move from syndication, which means getting to PMT or payment, the first payment you're receiving. Number two is job shop, moving from payment one, payment two, disparate payments, uh, to getting through uh, more payments uh, there. And as we finally get to the perpetuity, moving from separate individual payments to a contiguous or recurring cash flow stream. And that's where we get to cash flow over R. Uh, and then as we move to the fourth section, which is the growing perpetuity from cash flow R to CF over R minus G, the, disc, the G, the growth rate, actually decreases the discount rate, which makes the valuation higher. And that's why we're going to get to a growing perpetuity. And then ultimately for step five, it's diversified, perpetuity one plus perpetuity two. So if you want to get some more information on how to be a CEO and how to become an investment banker, go to investmentbankingu.com and download the free book, Investment Banking. It's going to be worth your time. Thanks a lot.